you folks, Quilly Dean here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Factorio. Uh, a handful of things happened in between episodes here. Um, I built a little bit more solar panels, might made a nice little square out of our rail over here. I did hook up this little copper mine over here, and that's starting to flow in very nicely. Um, got tons and tons, I suspect, if we look at the ore drop-off. Yeah, we are like 100% fully saturated. Uh, well, ish, mostly. Going well here, actually, hold on, this is really not flowing as quickly as I would have thought. I guess because of these occasional gaps over here, we really aren't inputting all four of them, or all eight of them. Well, no, I mean, that's pretty dense over here. Oh, I think we just got a delivery. Yeah, okay. And clearly we need to increase the rate at which these deliveries happen if we want to have the fullness of whatever. I think it's a long... Oh. Oh. I left the train on the track. Ha! Ha! Uh, let's go and fix that. <clears throat> Competence. That is my middle name. Uh, we did also, I'm just researching whatever here, uh, did finish the tech for the, uh, the rocket launch and all that stuff. Okay, that explains it. So, my new mine had been working, and then I took a trip out there to do whatever, and, um, you know, just grabbed a random locomotive, like this, and tried to drive out there, and, uh, got stuck, so, or left, m left my, my vehicle behind. If I ask you to go to Copper Ore Pickup 3, until full or whatever... You'll go. You'll go until you get stopped by a signal because that next block is occupied. But at least it'll auto-drive over there. So that's terribly embarrassing. Anyway, uh, well, the reason I'm way up there is because I want to set up some um, uh, some cement production. And I was like, you know what? I'll just do it... Ooh, we need a radar over here. I'll just do it like, you know, some mass production. Load it up on a train and then dump it into a bunch of, like, logistics chests near the center of my thing and we'll do that i don't think we need it for anything in particular but it was starting to feel silly to me that we didn't do it and see i did like this insane like run of um yeah incomplete ground two of um little uh bot stations because they were having to go up and down here and they kept running out of power and running slow it's actually this is a direct continuation of my line from the bus over here not that the bus is actually going to extend upwards i don't think but it it is set up in such a way that we could there are also a couple of like little random nests along the way here that kept bopping my bots. Actually, if we take a look, we lost a bunch of construction bots at some point because they all ran out of power on the way here, like setting up these mines, and they were just sitting basically stoop moving super slow over some range dudes. Okay, let's um let's switch to manual mode over here. And go. Oh, you're waiting for the big train. Right back here. Try not to smack into it. First of all, that's actually a good little hint that, first of all, we could use probably a couple more signals over here. Just because there's no reason you have to stand so far back from that block. But... I'm going to get smacked by a train here because I can't get through the trees. It's too dense. There it is, right there. As soon as we remove that, everything should start flowing again. Uh, well, you know what? It's a good thing I started this video here because I was like... Hold on, we should have E going way better than this. Way better. And I will likewise go ahead and throw in a couple of signals over here just to add some extra blocks here just in case. Um, yeah, This guy should load really fast now. And then go back over there. Okay, so meanwhile, let me go and actually put train back on the thing if I can get around these gosh darn trees. You get in here, uh, fill with coal, and you're going to go... And you're going to go to Iron Ore Pickup 3, whatever, some things. Okay, go, 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 because that's my station in the north. You're going to start moving again. Beautiful. Okay, well, now that that's dealt with, that should once again be flowing properly. So tech is happening. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess it's not connected. We probably could. Like, this bit was originally going to go through there, but I suppose I could connect up the rail there. Not that it's that much of a detour. It's not much of a problem. All right, you are going to actually go to manual mode, and I'm just going to keep driving you straight, 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 until we end up, bam, right over here. Awesome. All right, you go here. So what we need to do for concrete is we need to first make stone bricks, and you need, like, 
five stone bricks per, well, it's per 10 concrete, actually, per 10 seconds. So we actually don't need a ridiculous amount of stone brick production, which is nice. Sorry about the darkness. Even with this, like, Afraid of the Dark mod, it still is, like, super dark at night, and I haven't been bothering putting lights down. Um, not in this area, anyway. But that's okay. All right, so we're going to get you to go here. Now, there's actually some coal nearby, but I'm not going to bother uh, with it. I've actually gone ahead because we are producing electric furnaces now um, and have been for a while for science. So I'm just like, I'm going to be lazy. I'm going to use electric furnaces over here. They do use a fair amount of power. They're also quite large. Uh, I think that's 10. They're also quite large. So you can't just like upgrade your base to this. I think they work pretty quickly. So there's a bit of an advantage there, but as long as you've got coal, like there's not really any reason to do a bulk upgrade from one type of furnace to the other. I don't think I'm going to bother blueprinting this. I'm just keep grabbing the cheapest tech to go through because why not? Um, ba -da 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 -da. I mean, I'm not going to make a permanent blueprint, but I'm going to go ahead and do this and that and rotate you around this way uh, like that. And, um, I guess come around the north here. Like that. And we'll get one other line in here. I expect that this will be plenty. Um, I also expect that you could go and do this a fair bit longer. I'm not sure. Anyway, apparently we've got construction bots that are coming to do some of these things, which I guess is fine, but... Let's, let's save them a wee bit of trouble. Do I not have a request in for medium electric poles? I do. So, why don't I have them? I know that we're producing them. We must be producing medium electric poles. Um, I gotta go and put a little tag for all my electronics stuff to keep them marked down. Um, that's just a dummy area that actually doesn't really get used the same way anymore. We got some miners and assemblers. Um, it would be in our power area over here. So, pow -wah. Ah! pow -wah. Right here. Wait, do I have more in my inventory that just isn't on my toolbar? No, I mean, clearly not. Huh. Well, let me handcraft a few. There must be an order coming in. I just don't know why I didn't have any on me. Is this some bulk job that just used things? Logistics bots are definitely underway. Like, they might just be moving super, super goddamn slowly here. Like, if they decide to cut through the middle of this area, they'll probably run out of power and move really slowly. I might have to, like, put a couple of random charging stations in here. Well, that's kind of a little silly. All right, so you're starting to operate. Okay, yeah, brick production should be pretty fast once we've got material for this. We'll come back to it after. Um, and then to make concrete, uh, let me go and extend this out a little bit more, just in case I want to lengthen this. To make concrete, we've got to combine you, and I, of course, I line things up with the power cable. You know what, I'm just going to go underneath it. I don't care. I gotta combine you with iron, just raw iron ore, plus water, which we're all set for. So you're gonna go some distance this way, just in case, for some damn reason, I wanna expand ridiculous amount of production there. I mean, we can do all kinds of, like, brick production over here now. Bricks, walls, whatever we want. Um, so we're gonna have... You're gonna come in here, and it's gonna be fine. Um... I might want to do something almost like how I tend to do my um, my smelting. I mean, I don't know how many of these we need. Uh, let's do a row of eight. Why not? Probably we don't need to actually go insane. I'm probably way over engineering, but better over than under. Um, we will have to figure out a way to get water in here. So, let's say... We set up a thing, uh, which ultimately might look like our, our smelting setups, right? Something that's kind of like this. These things are kissing and going over here. And we're getting our stone on one side and our iron ore on the other. And 
for now, I'll just go ahead and do like, just do something like this. It's fine. Oops. Just so we can get it working. And, you know, maybe overkill. Obviously, we need a 4x4 four four balancer. I think I've got, yeah. That would be the far side, which would be over here or something. I don't know. We'll just grab one of these lines for now. Let's grab you like this. Leave a little bit of a gap. And feed you in here. Oops. There. Okay. We'll get you flowing. We'll figure this out. And I do have water over here. So you're going to be grabbing from both sides. And you do have to grab... Actually, yellow would be fine. Because it's going to grab six things in ten seconds. Yeah, six things in ten seconds. So it's less than one swing per second. And even the yellow's got the stacking bonus at this point. Yeah, I think there's no way... Well, there's some ways with underground belts. Either way, we're going to have to have something that's kind of underground-y. So I guess we'll just go ahead and do this. You know, it uses a fair amount of material, but what's the big deal? This would be a good one to, like, at least, like, blueprint one block and then repeat. But that's all right. Um, we're going to go and just do this. And get some water over here. I think I'll run it a little higher up. I'm going to run it here is what we're going to do. Not bad. I know that we're not using the whole distance there, but that's okay. Assuming I've lined it up properly, it's going to come just below this. Excellent. Like that. Okay. And I still haven't gotten my goddamn medium poles. What? What is happening? I'm thinking it's our bots are having a hard time reaching us. I think what can happen sometimes if there's a large air gap between um, charging stations, they can somehow sometimes get stuck in a thing. I'm, I'm just assuming here where they're trying to get towards us. They run out of power and then they go to the closest one. They start moving again. And they run out of power again. I assume now I don't think we actually have to worry about being part of the logistics network. But it wouldn't hurt. So yeah, I'm just going to get a few sort of like a little closer to the center here. Because that's kind of what I'm worried is going on. Like that, and... Like that. And you're here. I'm just holding shift and moving my mouse so that it sort of finds the first legal spot to put it down you're gonna have power you're gonna have power I don't remember if I put another one down here you've got you breach that gap actually we'll have it connect on the other side too. get a little bit more redundancy and things but yeah I'm wondering that's interesting you're going there and they're taking corn. Yeah, see, they're running out of power. They're getting to here and they're like, hold on, I've got to recharge. And they're going there and I'm betting it's a sort of like weird pathing power outage problem. Yeah, and again, I don't think they need to be on the logistics network. I just think they need a place to stop and park. Although it's possible, oops, that... They will find themselves, like, like if they park, if they actually f go into the RoboPort, I think there's a chance that they'll get sort of stuck there, because they're not going to be part of the same network. I might, might be wrong about that, though. But we'll play it safe and keep everything like, yeah, see? Something was stopping them from reaching me. Even though we were connected to the whole network, because I could, like, mouse over and see number of available robots was, like, all of them. So those were clearly part of the network, but... Yeah. Okay, I mean, we're still waiting for the poles, but we're getting other things. 
Is it? I mean, where's the power? They are going into red box, yes? Yep. They're t super going to the red box. And I totally have an order for them. I are confused. <laughs> Although apparently not quite as confused as the robots are. that. Get one over here. Oh, you're already planning on doing that. Let's get you in here as well. I mean, not that this is an area where I'm going to be standing around in and needing robots very long, but it's sort of just annoying me on principle that it's not working the way I want. Hey, there we go. So yeah, there were a whole bunch of bots holding my stuff, but they weren't able to like make it to me properly. Boom. There. And dumpage. that and yeah I definitely want to get these on a train closer to to home so let's do I'm gonna set a filter to trees and rocks only and just like frump all right that's gonna keep some construction bots busy both my own and and the ones that are part of the main network I probably want to do them a favor actually and blow up some of this stuff to save a lot of time. Now, I definitely will just do a one-car train for this. Because we don't really need to move a lot of bulk. I just want to get some cement, or concrete, I should really say, um, closer to home. And that's all. Maybe I'll build a two-car station, and then we can always embiggen things later. Hell, I could go and build a full four-car station, but only use the first one. But that would be a lot of things would just be sitting idle. Um, rail. Nope. I don't want to grab the book. I want to open it. Two-car load. Like this. And I need a T-junction over here. Thump. And, yeah, this is the entrance, because you drive on the right. Rotate, rotate, hold shift so that you can kill trees. And the exit, which I didn't actually have to walk up to. And uh, it's interesting that you'd want to merge. Yeah, let's go and explicitly run you down there. That is so weird. Let's just do that. You'll be fine. I don't know why sometimes they take so long to clear trees. I think when you just have a deconstruct command for the trees, they do it instantly. And when it's like sort of a replacement thing, this happens. Seem odd to anyone else? Seems very odd to me. Can't figure that out. Anyway, um... Just in case we end up with more than one train, we'll go ahead and put a train waiting and a train exit over here. That's going to be fine. The blues for loading and unloading is okay. And for now, what I'm going to do is just take a totally lazy route. Um, because it's really kind of a low-priority kind of affair. We're going to do that and that. We'll, we'll scale things up maybe later if we turn out that we really do actually want this stuff to be loading in a lot faster. some distance here, presumably into, you know, other kind of structures. But yeah, you can just do this. At least everything will get loaded. And that's going to be all right. Okay, we've got this. So we're going to have... Do, do, do. Uh, concrete pickup. It'll only ever be the one, I assume. Well, we'll see. But for now, that's okay. Uh, let's make a train. Mm, making sure you stay loaded with fuel might be a little bit tricksy. We'll see how it goes. You've got some now, so let's drive out of here. Maybe. Excellent. 
can't just go down to the main base somewhere. I see bots are still trying to chase me down. Poor little guys. Um, actually, you know what? I think this is going to be okay. We'll have some purpose to this over here by building a unloader. Um, we're going to have from this side to like that. Yep, that's going to be fine. Some length. And then your job will be to connect over here. Again, good. We're going to need to move you out of the way. We're going to need to get the two-car unloader blueprint. Mm, oh, yeah, you don't actually have a stop with this one, which is probably going to cause us our problems again. In it. Let's see if I can get it to work and then actually update the blueprint. And the answer is probably going to be no. So I've got it working for the, the four cars. Actually, I guess what I could do... <laughs> lazy mode engaged. Is I'm going to choose the four car unloader. Which actually has the station and everything all set up. Do that and then just... Cut it. It's actually got enough room for the full four car unloader. You know what? Then we'll leave the room for the full four car unloader. Because why not? Alright, you're doing this, you're doing that. Uh, not that it matters, but we'll go ahead and get a stop here. And we'll get another one just on the other side, just in case we end up with more than one of these guys. You're going to do that. I'm going to go and manually put down this thing here and call you the um, concrete drop-off. And really, all that's going to happen is we're just going to put these things into some um, some red chests. So your job is going to go to concrete pickup until full, then concrete, which is misspelt, until empty, and go. Excellent. Um, the colored concrete... Okay, yeah, the hazard concrete, we just make it in place. Do you get 10 for 10 of this? Yeah, 10 for 10, so it's going to be fine. So, yeah, what we're just going to do is I'm just going to do this. Because I'm not, you know, again, not concerned with doing things in bulk in any way whatsoever with this. The station's overkill, but hey... Better put overkill now and not need it than not overkill and need it later, right? It's a Samwise Genji um, theory of, of Factorio. We will go ahead and do this balance here. Like, just lane balance it. Actually, are we? I guess we are. Um... We'll do that. We'll have a couple of things producing the hazard concrete. So that we can do cool color stuff later. I don't think we need blues because actually I think they load really, really slowly. Um, you know what we're going to do? We're going to make it load like that. I don't think we need them. But you start getting like extra sort of lazy about power once you do get um, solar. Because you're like, eh, whatever. Okay, we're going to have that, and we are going to have another little power here so you're connected. And then, in the end, we're just going to have a wee little active one of those. And your job is to grab this and put it in the box. Let's, let's do one, even this is going to be like ludicrous amounts, but there you go. So we're just going to set that up, and then we can start to drop down uh, concrete. What I could do, for example, is use this little upgrader thing and say, I want to upgrade from a stone brick to a concrete and then take my, what is it called? Man, I have too many of these blueprints. Let's trash a few here. Well, take this max stone, drop it in there, and now it is a max concrete. Delete. And then if I say, take this, and 
do that. I mean, things aren't going to match, but that's going to be okay. Boom, 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 boom. Cool! And I'm also very excited to start using that stuff. Um, I extended my things. I guess what I'll do... I think at some point I got rid of the yellow insert request because I needed space. I'm going to do that, and I'm going to ask for concrete and hazard concrete. Just because that way I, I can maybe do some like blueprints and stuff with them later on. Um, do we have a request in for walls? We do not. Undo that. I don't think we auto-produce gates. Which is probably fine. Because how many gates are we really going to want? But I do want to I want to try to do something kind of cool here in a bit. So I'm going to make a bunch of gates. There you go. Just to have them. All right, groovy. Construction bots are doing that. Most of the people are idle. That's mostly going to be fine. And yeah, somewhere sort of central to our base, we've got some amount of concrete sitting there. Um, and we don't have a lot right now, so there'll be a shortage. And yeah, we never did get all of this set up. Here. All right, that should get everything wired up in some fashion and you're all good we actually okay so we're already producing enough of the stone if it's going to be anything we're just going to want to double up on this area which i guess i could do let me clear you still have too many blueprints in my inventory um hang on no it's a little annoying to do at range but should be okay Uh, oh, I didn't grab the middle area. Well, that's okay. You're going to go there. And like that. You'll have an input to here. You will need to copy your little water layout. Oh, but it's got to be mirrored. Um... I guess I can't do that. So I can do this. Oh, when you shift place here, it doesn't actually rotate the um, the thingy. That's handy. We are going to... Do that. Do that. And do that. And an underground that goes like that. Okay. Almost there. Yeah, it's it's hard not getting the immediate feedback about what you're doing to confirm that you're doing this vaguely correctly. But I think that that will double up on our production. There we go. Things are starting to get delivered. It's a long, long trip for these bots. Luckily, they do finally have some ability to charge in between now. Like, it's a little bit muddy there, but they will charge on the way and probably not be all wonky and shitty anymore. So there's going to be some lag. What's your timer at? Okay, it's a good time to uh, to wrap this up. I want to make sure that this works. Then we'll wrap this up. Because, yeah, we have an excess of bricks being made, especially now that we've got the power on both sides. So we may as well go ahead and cement our concrete up a lot faster, which is then being loading in here. This train is going to take forever to get a full load every time. Um, but, oh, you know what I should do is make sure that you've got fuel. Uh, I'm going to do that by relying on our logistics network here. You know, assuming that we had a logistics network connection in this area. And you are going to do that and that. You're going to ask... Actually, we just need one chest for this. You're going to ask that you always have a full load of coal or wood. I, either thing being in the network is going to be fine. That, that'll that ensure that regardless of what the situation, the train will always get fueled up. Right now it's got 44 coal, so it's definitely going to be good for now. This is... Oh, that other guy brought the entire piece like a million miles away. 
so we have to wait for an entire other delivery. I mean, if I had a little storage chest or something like that, it would have been okay. I think that will fix things. The water seems to be flowing, which is good. I could ask this guy just to do another drop-off for now. So bring what you have, which... Yeah, it's like almost 4k. It's going to be fine to get us started. Come on, bot. You can do it. Uh, there's a bit of an area here where some bots might get a little bit funkified. So let's go and put another interconnection like that. I made one too many of those. And then you're not in the right place, I don't think. There it is. Here, I'll connect it up there for, again, more redundancy and things. Come on, bot. Where are you? We should actually see the bots on this map. I mean, I think it would be, like, bad and noisy and double plus on good. Is anyone well, I'm asking questions? I'm still super pre-recording this, so you guys won't be able to answer in time to help me. I'm going to say, does anyone see any stuck trains anywhere? Here we've got these trains waiting to be delivered, which means our iron ore delivery is good. Our coal or copper delivery is good. Um, we've actually, these are 100% full over here. Hold on. Oh, shit. How can that happen? Because we don't actually load coal over here anymore. Okay, I'm going to have to go and fix you in a moment. Damn. Okay, where are we? That's copper drop-off, copper pickup. You got done, and you are working on both sides. Excellent. Okay, I will go and um, get some fuel. Thank you. Uh, get some fuel to that train over there, uh, which I could do by hopping on my own little train. And again, I'll probably just put in a little requester system. Uh, one thing I need to make sure is that we are constantly loading coal into our logistics network so that we, uh, we have some for those little random jobs. But we've got some coal over there I could just piggyback on. Something like that would be okay. But, oops, there we go. Grab you. And you got the stop and everything there. I think you're the only train that's delivering the plates over here is the thing. Fuel. Go. And so that this doesn't happen going forward, drop you in there. Uh, we'll use a blue. Oops. A little lower then. Like that. Coal. Wood. Okay. Which, actually, apparently we have tons of wood still sitting over here, so that's a start. And, uh, yeah, I'll set up a little thing. So, yeah, th this copper is not being unloaded because there's no... There's no demand for it because there was no, um, there's no iron. So our entire thing came to a halt somewhere in there. That's a little bit unfortunate. I'm going to go back to the mining productivity. I mean, it's a huge research, but it's a nice little boost. And it's not an infinite job. No, it's going to be good. Um, where's that coal thing? Right over here. I'm just going to, like, mine that stuff and put it directly into passive provider chest. We don't need to mine it very quick. Um, although we probably want to, like, mine enough patches that... Um, it's going to last a good long time. But, like, we don't need to box it very quickly or anything like that. Do, 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 uh, Grenades. Feels like I'm due a grenade delivery, too. Now, I did change some things at some point. It's possible that I don't actually have a grenade production, to. Oh, yeah, we've got this. Okay, that's going to be fine, then. That's going to be perfectly fine because we can just expand on this after. But the idea being we do this. Uh, tell you what, I'll do that version, that's going to be fine. Uh, we'll just use a long-range one here. It's, oops, if I'm not in the way. And... We don't even need a ton in there, but, you know, some amount. Oh, uh, that is the wrong chest. I want a provider chest. There we go. Just, we'll always ensure that we have some coal in our logistics network. Looks like these stingers are still probably going to be okay for a good long time. But, uh, oh, that can do it without grabbing... Oh, no, that'll grab copper. That's okay, though. And then what I'm going to do, and this is obviously not good to like for maxing out throughput, but I just want to ensure the longevity of this line, which has very little demands on it. This, this, most of the coal is going to fuel up a few trains and making some bricks. That's it. 
Like, this coal should, in fact, last forever and ever and ever. Um, so, you know, I'm not too stressed. I'll do the other side, too, just to, just to say. And then, well, I'll wrap up the episode here. Thank you very much for watching, folks. We, we didn't do, like, much in terms of forward progress of, like, you know, winning the game by building a space, uh, a rocket and a satellite here. But I'm happy. I should have done it a million years ago. Get the, um, the cement production, because it doesn't actually take that much to do. Just, it's, it annoys me. It always annoys me. It's like, oh, I got to get iron ore and stone and water in the same place. But then, you know, then you've got it, and then you can, you know, run around a lot faster. And, you know, I guess that's nice. Plus, it does look pretty. So... That's something to consider. Uh, let's just double check over here. How you doing? There we go. Plates are being delivered. These trains are being drained and are starting to move again. Excellent. Yeah, because this is stalled completely. You see no red, no blue. Stalled completely because of lack of green. Dang. And the setup still have like limited scalability because like there's no room over here. You know, hindsight. Move it over an extra 10 blocks to the right. Make do yourself a favor, and you can scale it up more. It's always the same thing. I never, and it's like I, I even when I think it's like oh, I'm gonna leave lots of room. It's never enough room. There you go. Huge backlog of the coal over there. That's exactly what I want. And you are here. Occasionally, you might get picked up because we have to feed some other device somewhere else. Uh, overall, construction bots are busy. Oh yeah, because they're putting down the uh, the concrete. But the logistics bots are actually relatively chill. All right. So. Rocket silo. Probably next. Wow, you need a lot of electric engine units to build a rocket silo. I think we actually do have a box somewhere for that. We have to figure out exactly how we're going to pull in. Yeah, because right at the uh, the loop me up area, this is where we make the... Uh... Oh, yeah, I still got to assign the purple. Although, clearly we have enough purple, so maybe I don't have to stress about that. It was looming up here. Oh, here we go. Tons and tons of electric engines. Um, we are storing some in there. What I'll probably do is just tweak the limit so that we can have up to 200 or whatever so that it can pick up enough in one go to make the silo. Making the silo is not the hard part. What's hard is like building and fueling up the rocket and making the satellites and doing all that. Um, just because whatever. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Even though we don't actually need the purple. These, like, won't work. Well, I mean, they'll do one load, but then they won't go anymore after that. And I don't care. I don't care about any more productivity modules or anything either. Because things are going to keep getting put on the top. These guys will never do anything. And that's fine. The yellows are mostly limited to their blues. Which, actually, we have a backlog of that now. We could potentially kick this up a notch. You know, I could even be producing yellows maybe on the other side of this. To do it faster. I mean, I'm assuming if we go and find our science. Actually, no, we have a backlog. Is it blues we don't have enough of? Yeah, there's no blues. They're, they're trying to trickle. What? Wait, what? What? Who? Huh? Blues, 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 blues. What's your deal, bro? Why are we not... I need to blue myself. Come on. Why have you fallen behind? Everything should be designed to about one science per second. Are you just really slow? I guess so. I mean, I guess they're all producing. Oh, no. Well, you're not. Because, well, okay. So you've never produced down here. So oops on that. Uh, don't need that. So now you're producing. No, everything's got everything it needs. It's just... Slow. It does have the production modules, and we could sub those up for speed modules if we, you know, didn't care about, you know, getting the, the free thing from time to time. There, that was a free one right there, for example. Um, I might be able to find... Actually, I can totally beacon this up for speed. The same way we did the, um, the blue circuits. Uh, beacon, beacon, beacon. Who's got a beacon? Right here. And speed modules, blam, blam. So there, plus 70% instead of a huge negative. Now you're going to act faster, and that's okay. Um, I still need to set up the electric engine thing, which is not here. It's over... Loop me up is to the north? Yeah. Okay, i got to put a cut in here. Thank you very much for watching, folks. And next episode, 
we start on our spaceship. Thank you very much for watching. See you then.